Yeah, good to have him here anytime you're out on the grass. Um, with the young players, they're excited to be there. It's kind of a dream come true for a lot of those guys to be out there, and so it was fun, good energy. How kind of look? Uh, not bad, you know. Um, some familiarity with the system helps, and uh, he can really throw it. He's got a presence about himself, so uh, I liked uh, how he operated. He, he, seems, he seems completely unaffected by all this. How important will that be for him <clears> to kind of manage all the expectations and pressure? Yeah, he's been born and bred to do this. I've said it all along, and, and that's his mentality. I mean, this is what he's always expected to do and be, and um, so he's kind of living living it out right now, and it, it may affect other people, but it doesn't seem to affect him. What's it like for you to finally fun? be with him on the field? You guys know each other forever, and <clears> now you're finally together. Yeah, it, it was fun. Um, you know, we have a good relationship, and, and he knows I'm going to do everything in my power to help him be the best player he can be, and um, that's what he wants. He wants to be pushed. Cliff, what were your expectations when we get to some progress and how it's going on? Yeah, that's it. Um, just get a lot of guys adjusted to our terminology, how we practice, how we do things, rolling into Monday when we get going with the vets. Five, your coaching staff, when you guys switched over to the position drills and just noticed you're really hands-on, you know, doing the distraction stuff and everything like that. So you, can you just kind of describe and illuminate your style of coaching? Yeah, I think, you know, at that position, um, you know, it's a key position. So I want to be involved and coach it and um, try to help develop those players the best way possible. And it's always been hands-on for me. And so I'm going to be involved in coaching the quarterbacks um, as long as I'm a coach. How much of kind of comfortable with the Yeah, no question. Uh, I mentioned it prior to the draft, but you know his dad is one of the best quarterback mentors in the country, and then he played at one of the best high school programs in the country. He had Jake Spavital, had Lincoln Riley, both phenomenal quarterback guys. So he's been well coached throughout and played in similar co uh, concepts and offenses. And um, so there'll be some wrinkles that we got to get adjusted to, but I do think there's a comfort level there. Young Kyler, did any of the draft picks catch your eye on one practice? Yeah, I mean. I think it's too early to, to tell. I was mainly working with Kyler and trying to get him comfortable. Um, so I'll have to watch the film. Cliff, how hard do you physically push these guys, knowing that a lot of them haven't really done anything for weeks and knowing you've got to pace them so no one gets anything to me? Yeah, that's a great point. There's that fine line you want to walk. You want to um, you know, get some things accomplished, but you want to be smart knowing they haven't actually played football in a while. And so we'll kind of walk that line and make sure there's a lot of above-the-neck emphasis, a lot of mental work you being done. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. You grew up in Texas, played football, and a coach. Can you explain what it, what it's like to be a high school star of his magnitude, of college magnitude in Texas? I can't. I, I've never seen one. <laughs> I've never seen one that big of a star. I mean, he was the best player. I mean, arguably to ever come through the state. When you're talking about 48 and 0, um, and all the records he broke, and, and things of that nature. So, I, yeah, I have no idea what that feels like. <laughs> What's it like for you, acclimating now to be a head coach in the NFL? Yeah, it's been good. I think having our staff um, has been phenomenal. Steve's been great with me, Michael. And then a guy like Vance, who, who was just a head coach and is a tremendous coach, well-respected in this league. He's been a great guy to lean on. Are you concerned uh, about Kyler's team? He's been walking around stiff after this is first time back to his you know, first time back to Cleats. Is that a little bit of concern? No, I think he'll be all right. We just, I guess the cleats he wanted didn't get delivered. Um, but we'll try to get those here tomorrow. <laughs> you, you guys signed a running back, Wes Hills, who's got an interesting story, a big physical guy who's over for a kid at, coming out of the draft area here. What, what do you like about him? Why did you guys sign him? Yeah, I think you nailed it. Big physical running back, has some quick feet, has some explosiveness, and um, played well in the all-star opportunities that he was given. Coming from college and working with younger guys, how did today compare to working with the Mets last week? Yeah, I mean, very similar. I, I think there, there's more nerves, obviously, um, with the young guys. And, and they're bright-eyed, excited, first time on an NFL field. So it, it's a big deal. And I think as a coach, you, you especially come from the college ranks, you can appreciate the excitement that they have. Do you feel more comfortable working with them then? I feel comfortable with everybody. So. How do you balance between wanting to coach the quarterbacks and making sure you're seeing the rest of the team in our typical practice? Yeah, there's a fine line. You gotta you gotta walk and you gotta have great assistance. And I think that's why it's so vital to have a guy like Vance who is a head coach, you know, to be able to handle the defense and Jeff Rogers on special teams. Um, th those guys are, are huge for me. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's just a dynamic player, a dynamic playmaker. There's, there's always that guy on the playground that if you throw the ball out there, he's going to find a way to win, and that, that's who he's been his whole life. Can you tell us about May 4th? 
What's May 4th? I think there was a horse race and a boxing match. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was a horse race for sure. <laughs> um, quite a horse race, too. But no, yeah, it was uh, never been to the Kentucky Derby, so that was a fun experience. And what about the fight? Yeah, that, that's um, been a line I've walked. You know, I became a head coach at 33 and only been a coach for two years. So um, they, they know there's a level of discipline. There's a line you don't cross, but that doesn't mean you can't be interactive and, and bring good energy and, um, you know, be a player's coach, if you will. No, no chance. No chance. We had, we had, um, I had some offensive players I was eyeing uh, with that pig 33, but when he was sitting there, we were all thrilled to death. Um, got to have dinner with him prior to the draft. Phenomenal young man from here, wanted to be here, so it just all worked out. We're really, really excited to have him. What's it like to see Isabella up close? Yeah, he's, he's a quick, fast um, guy. I was with you know, Danny Amendola and Julian Edelman, of course, they were asking me about him um, this weekend. So uh, great to see, you know, ex how excited he is, how hard he works, and then we just got to keep rolling with him. How about Caleb with uh, Mr. Irrelevant this year, but all the just since that first day walk -up. You know, he led the country in receiving for tight ends last year, so he's not lacking in confidence, and I think he's going to come in and compete hard, and, you know, he's got football in his blood. His dad's a coach, and he, he approaches the game that way. Yeah, I mean, he, he's eaten up with football. There's, there's no question. Um, said it throughout the process, but you love that when the biggest lights were on him is when he played his best games. And, and he's going to work really hard and put himself in a position to be a good player in this league. Yeah, I've never heard of it, so <laughs> it's a first. Have you had any talks with Pat Peterson? Are you assuming he'll be here when OTAs commence with us? Uh, I'm not sure about OTAs. You know, everything's voluntary, um, and so we'll go. We know what Pat is. Tyler. Uh, you have to ask me after the season, you know. I think we're a long way from that point. But uh, football is football. We have a great group here that's excited to learn. They're eager to learn. Really excited about the coaching staff we brought in, and guys are working hard. It's kind of the point we're at. Is it nice to finally get to this point where you're coaching and you're on the field instead of doing all the? Yeah, I mean, the first three months, you know, I couldn't even meet the team, and so you were trying to put everything together. But it's always more fun being around the team and uh, getting to interact with those guys. Coach, I've heard you got a dog. Do you bring the dog around the facility, or does he stay at home? I don't have a dog, so I don't know. I, I, I don't. My dog would lie, die of loneliness if I had a dog. <laughs>